Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create multiple borders using CSS3 pseudo element selectors. Yes, of course there are plenty of ways you can use to create multiple borders. Uh, maybe by using box shadow or maybe by using border image or combining the outline property. But in this video, we will talk about how to do that with pseudo element selectors after and before so let's get started just go ahead and hit over to this website codepen.io or use any text editor you prefer for now let's get into this html panel and write div with a class of multi border and write some content in here all right now let's go ahead and apply some basic style to body element. So write a width of 80%, give it a margin of 100 pixels at all. All right, now let's go ahead and select or target the multi border element by using the class selector, give it a width of 400 pixels and height of 200 pixels all right now let's give it a background color so right background color and give it ec f3 f8 kind of light blue now let's go ahead and give it a border so apply a native border of four pixels solid f29053 kind of orange i love this color we can also specify the double value but this is what I don't want. I want to create a custom border with using the pseudo element selector. So let's go with solid. Let's target the before pseudo element selector and write some content using the content property to just to show how these uh, pseudo element selectors work. Content one. It will be displayed before this multiple border content and this pseudo element will be not displayed outside this div it will be still displayed inside this div element okay so parent will be still this div element also for the after it will display the content after the this multiple borders content so this is how these selectors work okay so let's go ahead and delete this content one for now all right let's set its position properly and set it to absolute so that we can position our borders as we want and also we need to specify the position relative to the parent element which is the div element so position relative all right now what we need to do we need to specify the borders so let's go with border of four pixels solid eight one eight six c one okay we can see a light scare here right here now we need to specify the offset for this border so what will be our offset can you guess it all right you have guessed it what is that top would be minus eight pixels why four pixels of this border and four pixels of uh, already existing border on the main div element so this count to eight pixels let's go with the same value for all of these borders uh, offset sorry pixels and bottom to be minus eight pixels now we have easily created our second borders and with a different color okay now let's go ahead and copy the same selector with the same contents or properties right now we have to just change this selector from before to after let's change the width of this border to 8 pixels and let's change its color to 3 6 triple 4 a kind of dark blue okay it is overlapping on our existing border what we need to do is we have to specify the uh, new offset for this border so what would be it can you guess it it would be now minus 16 pixels
so now we have created our third border too all right so this is how we can create the multiple borders using this pseudo element selector okay so what would you do if you want to add a little bit of space white space after the orange border can you give me a solution okay let's see how this works you just have to go ahead and specify an extra offset for this top left right and bottom values so let's go ahead and add 12 pixels 12 pixels 12 pixels and 12 pixels all right now you can see that our blue border is hidden now but we can work on that just go ahead and specify this value to 20 pixels 20 pixels 20 pixels and 20 pixels all right so now we have created virtually four borders so my friends it's your turn just go ahead and convert these borders to inset borders and how will you do that let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit like to this video and share it with your friends and yeah don't forget to check out my blog which is smashtheshell.com you can find the link in the channel art overlay or down below in the description so see you there bye bye take care